Oh my gosh, don't pull that. Don't do it's going to hurt. You're, you're making that come from far away tomorrow morning. Your thing's all going to be swollen. Okay, here we are on November 29th, 1980 with Grandma Ballinger and Matthew. And we're going to interview Grandma. And Matthew's going to help out Grandma with the answers to some of the questions, if he knows the answers. Okay, behave, Matthew. <laughs> Is our voice on there? Yeah, yeah. You're picking up the voice. The yeah. microphone's right in front of you. Yes. Yeah. I go, yeah. Okay, the first question, Grandma, is what year were you born and where were you born? Oh boy, here comes the That's secret. The copy. Here comes Not the, the secret. The truth. So help you. So help me God, this is the truth. 1906, as much as I hate to tell it. 1906, and we of course know the date. Try to hide it when I can. <laughs> June 24. Was it June 24th? Yeah, I no, June no. 20th. 20th. June 20th. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Matthew's born. I get mixed up with our wedding anniversary. Yeah, that's and right. Because that's the 25th. Yes. Okay. And what uh, city and province were you born in? I was born in Bathurst, New Brunswick. Canada. Mm -hmm. Canada. How many children were there in your family? None. In my family? None. Oh, wait, no. There was uh, seven living, and two died very young. Were they uh, at birth or, or when they were very young? Uh, no, like one was uh, six years old, and the other one would be like just about two or three months. That was... I never saw them, of course. Uh, how old were you no, I was the third. Third child? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And um, who was the oldest? Cecilia. My sister. Was a girl? My yeah. oldest sister. Yeah. Okay. Is she living or is she living? Oh, no. She died, died young. Very young. I said she died. She died from pneumonia and was buried with her little baby in her arms. Oh. And uh, who came after you? Stanley. Stanley? Stanislaus, we call him oh, Stan. Oh, Yes, Stanislaus, brother, huh? yeah. He's still living. He's still living? Is he in Bathurst? Yes. Oh, and how old, about how old would he be? He is uh, 78 now. He's 78? Yes. Oh, and uh, who was after him? After him was me. Oh, that's right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but there was the, there's there's where one died in between. Oh, between yes. you and your brother. Yes. I see. And that one died when that child was six. That one was no. That one was just about three months old. Oh, three months. Yes. Oh, very young. Okay, and then after you, who comes next? Rudolph. Another brother. Yes. And then. And he died in '79, and he lived. He married and lived all his adult life in uh, Lake St. John. Is that in New Brunswick or? No, it's in Quebec. Oh, in Quebec. Yes. Oh, I see. And then who came after Rudolph? After Rudolph came Alice. Alice? Yes. Okay, and Alice is still living? She's still living, a yeah. widow in Montreal. Still young? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's the one I visited this summer. Yeah, that's right. You just visited her this yes. summer, didn't you? Uh -huh. uh, Okay, then, then there's another one that died. Who would that be? Stella. Stella? Mm-hmm. Okay, how old was she when she died? Do you know? Well, that one was about six years old. Oh, she was six? Yeah. She was young, too? Huh? Yes, uh-huh. Okay, and after Stella? After Sir Catherine, our baby sister. <laughs> okay, so she's the youngest? She's the youngest. How old is she? Yeah. She's, um, 70.
father and mother also born in New Brunswick? Or yes. Was mm -hmm. that Bathurst? Yes, Bathurst. Oh, so they were both from Bathurst? Mm hmm oh, I see. And no, no, not my mother. My mother was from Camelton. From Hamilton? Camelton. Oh, Campbell, Campbellton. And that's also in New Brunswick? Yes, it's about 12 miles from Bathurst. Oh, but it's the same area, huh? Yes. I see. And, uh, they had uh, good transportation then, so they couldn't be too far apart. Yeah. Do you know how, uh, how long your father lived? Do you know how old he was when he died? My father? Yeah. He was 76. Oh, he lived quite a No, long. no, no. My, my father was 86 when he died. 86? 86. Oh, my God, that's old. Yes. Do you know what year he died? Oh, dear. Now, that's one thing, you see, I, I would have had to look in my book. Well, anyway, he will be like... Uh, 14 years next March. Uh -huh. it's he died while you were living in Dearborn. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> and, and It'll be 14 years next <coughs> March, in 81 that he's dead. I see. Yeah, 14 years ago. Then. Yes. Okay, uh, your mother, how old did she uh, live to? Oh, my, her, my mother died young. She was only 39 years old. Is that right? Yes. 39? Yeah. Did your father remarry? Oh, yes. Oh, he did? Yes. And he had... Uh, seven more children with his second wife. Is that right? Yes. After seven with uh, his first wife? Yeah. Well, really, he had nine, you know, with the two that died. And he also had two that died in their second marriage. Oh. Yeah. So he had, he fathered 14 children? Yes. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And then his second wife, did she die? She died about three years ago. Three years ago? Yes. When we were in Florida. You met her, Catherine, uh, uh, Ray? You remember? Yeah. Were you still, you weren't at home when uh, when your father remarried, were you? Oh, yes. Oh, were you? I was very young. I was about seven years old. Oh, oh I see. my, I was very young when my mother died. Thank you. Come here. Get over here. Well, she had a goiter, and, you know, we were so young that I really can't name what she died from, but I talked about it to my aunt, and she said, you know, she had a goiter, and it was right on her vein here, and they couldn't operate then. She could have, she would have bled to death. But I really don't know what she died from. I just remember getting up one morning, and they told us our mother was had died. Did she die at home or not? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There was, I don't know if there was any hospitals then. Thirteen years old. Thirteen? Yes. Is that when you went to Montreal? No, no. I went to work for some people just the next block from us. Oh, in? In, in Bathurst. Bathurst. And right. then I worked there until I went to Montreal. And when I went to Montreal, wait, I worked there about, oh, five or six years. And then I worked for, I went for Mr. McKinnon. And I worked there till I was 18 years old. Then I went to Montreal. I see. So you were about, what, 18 or so in Montreal? Yes. And how long, how long did you work for those people in Montreal? Well, I worked for them until I left to come to... Uh, Detroit? Detroit. Uh, how with old Mr. and Mrs. Then? Fraser. How old were you then when you left for Detroit? Well, I was, uh, what, 23? Because you worked for about five years, eh? You mean uh, at the Frasers? Yeah, yes. in Montreal, yes. about five years. Well, I didn't work, no, I didn't work just for them. I worked maybe about four years for them. Uh -huh. And then I worked for, an, I went to work for another, for, you know, another couple. Uh -huh. And I worked with them for one year. Uh -huh. And uh, what, what brought you to Detroit? Oh, dear, <laughs> that's a long story. <laughs> Did and then someone in Montreal? <laughs> yes. I was going with a policeman there. <laughs> a Montreal cop, huh? Yep. <laughs> and, and that's what brought me to Detroit. We were got engaged and um, he decided he wanted to come to Detroit to find make better wages than that. But he wasn't lucky, he got into a factory instead of the police department. Oh, did he try to apply for the police department? Uh, yes, he thought he'd get a job there. He didn't? No. Where did he get a job in Detroit? Uh, it was um, Radiator, American Radiator Company. American Radiator. Yes, because.
because that's where Armand met him. And that's where Daddy was working? That's where, yes. Oh, and uh, so he was a friend of Dad's? Well, he met him there. And, you oh. know, they got to be a little, yeah. they were friends because uh, my uh, Armand couldn't speak a word of English. Oh. So naturally, when he met a French man, well, they got friendly. Did this man speak English? He must have. The policeman, oh, yeah. yes, he spoke yeah, both he languages. Speak, yes. Spoke in English to try uh -huh. to fight for a job. But Daddy couldn't, so he made friends with anyone that spoke French good. Uh, and, uh, oh, I was going to ask you about your father. What was his occupation? What did well, he my work? father, he worked at, there was a, a pulp mill in Bathurst, uh -huh. and in summer he would work there, but in winter he would go and work a, as a lumberjack in the woods. Oh. When he was younger. Uh -huh. After he got older, well, he'd work at that mill the year round. Yes, a paper mill, a wood. Oh. Mm -hmm. What did he do there? He drove the horses. He loved horses. My father loved horses. See, he, he did racers. When he was younger, he had racers. And I remember when we would go to Mass, he would be so proud, you know, to drive his little racer. Did he have those trotters? Yes. With the buggy? Yes. Oh, oh and he loved to pass the people, you know, with his nice little horse. So he drove the horses with the lumber when they were no, but those were big horses. Yeah, but the horses. the one I'm talking about would be the. Yeah, your own. Do you yeah. own those horses? Did you own horses when you were small? Uh, he didn't own them. He it was a man that he took care of the horses for. But oh. you know he rode them around. Did you have stables? Oh yes. At your house? You used to take no, horses? we lived at his place. Oh. Did your did your mother work or or your first mother did she work or was she just a uh, housewife? Yeah, she had her hands. She had her There wasn't very many working outside in those days. The mothers yeah. were staying home, yeah. and they had their hands full. I see. Um, what was your father's first name? Joseph. Joseph. And what was your mother's first name? Margaret. Margaret. Oh. That's who Peggy's called after. Oh, is she named after? Margaret Isabel. Like uh, my mother's name and her daddy's name. Daddy's mother's name was Isabel. Oh, I see. Yeah. And what was your second uh, mother's uh, name? Bridget. Bridget. Mm -hmm. Was she, she French also? Oh, yes. And everybody was French. Oh, yes. Then I can assume that the language that was spoken at home was French. French. When, when did you learn English and where did you learn it? Oh, we learned it at school. We learned both languages oh, in Bathurst. You, that was bilingual? Oh, yes. We could all speak it. Right from the first grade, they were yes. teaching you English? Oh, we spoke English before we went to school. Oh, at home? Because it was mixed. We learned both as we grew up. Oh. But with our parents, we spoke French. But other people, you could speak English? When we went, we, my, sp my parents could speak English, too. Oh, so they, they were by Yeah, the whenever we went, it was English-speaking right. people. We spoke English, and when it was home, we spoke oh, French. Oh, so they were bilingual. Yeah. yeah. We learned it in school.
so. Uh, what, they, what did they do in Montreal to get around on horses? There were streetcars. No, the police. He was a policeman. How did they didn't have cars? Well, he didn't drive a car. You know, then there was these patrolmen that patrolled oh, the walk the the beach. Beach. Yeah. yeah. But he didn't have his own personal transportation. No, he car. couldn't drive a car. He couldn't? No. So that's why, you know, he asked uh, Daddy to take us to that picnic that Sunday. And uh, I kind of liked Daddy. <laughs> I thought he was cute. What did you like about him? Oh, he was cute and he was bashful. <laughs> so that's how I met him. Then when I got out of the car that night, he said, to, Daddy said, when I said goodbye to him, that I winked at him. goodbye to him, he said I winked at him. I see. <laughs> so he, while we were talking, you know, in the conversation, it came out that Tuesday night I was going to a movie. Uh -huh. And I must have named the, the, the theater. Were you going alone? Yeah, of course. You know, it was my night off, and I didn't know very many people in Detroit. That's why I wanted to go back to Montreal. And uh, I was walking along, and the theater wasn't far from where I lived, and I was walking along the street, and there's a car that came real close to the curb, you know, and he stopped, and I turned around, and there was Daddy. <laughs> so that was the beginning of our courtship. Did he take you to the movie? Oh, sure. I got in the car, we went to the movie, and then we started going out together. Here's a good question. What was the movie that you saw? Oh, that I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> was it a talking movie? Yes. Yes, because talking movies started when I lived in Montreal. Oh, okay. Yes. Now, were you on the east side of Detroit or west side? Do you know what neighborhood you were in? Um, Dexter Boulevard, maybe? Around there, yes. Jewish neighborhood. There was a, do you know where the St. Teresa's Church was? Oh, yeah, that's that's uh, Grand River and Quincy. Well, that's right where I, be I was going to that parish. I lived with St. Gladstone. There was a, the, they lived on Gladstone. Uh -huh. And ha St. Teresa was my the parish for that, so that's where I went to church. Oh, they lived on Gladstone Street. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, what side? Yeah. So I, uh, that was my parish. Uh -huh. So how long did Daddy court you before he uh, proposed to you? Oh, well, not was too long. <laughs> how, how short of a time was it, do you know? Well, I couldn't say because we married. Was it a year? Was it a half a year? Oh, no, not a half a year for sure because we married in a year after.
But here it was, and here I didn't have any relatives. That's why I wanted to earn money. And when I found out I didn't want to marry that guy, I wanted to earn money and Maybe go back to Montreal why. quick. Maybe that's why Dad had to propose fast before he went Oh, back. but I, he didn't know that. Oh, he didn't know, he didn't know I wanted that. to go back to Montreal. <laughs> After I met him, I changed my mind. How did you uh, arrive in Detroit? Did you come by train? Yes. And that's the way you were going to go back. You were planning oh, to go yes. back that way. Oh, yes. Yeah. And then the, the fare was just about $15. I just needed a month's work. Exactly. I was getting $15 a month. <laughs>
33 because Michael was born in 34. It was either 32 or 33. Where was Peggy born? Was she born in Redford uh, when you were living in Redford? Uh, yes, we were living with Minogue and my tante. Oh, I wish I could remember that name. Oh, that's, okay. that's okay. Yes. Yeah, but, uh, Centralia. Yeah. It's a oh, very that's popular they, street. That's where they just saw those bodies. Yeah, that's well, true. yeah, but it's a <laughs> north-south yeah. street. It, you know, yes. it goes all the way there. Yeah. Then we lived on, after that, we lived on <laughs> Centralia not very long. Then we moved, uh, that was also rented from friends. That was during the Depression, and they moved to Canada. The, the, and we rent we rented their house, and we lived there. And from there, we bought that house on Crane. Okay, what year was it that you moved on Crane? Well, it would be. See, I wasn't pregnant for Michael, and Michael was born in '34, so we moved there either in '32 or '33. I see. Before Michael. Yes, before. because I wasn't uh, pregnant either when we bought the house. Okay, so you lived on Crane from 1933 till what, 1955, when you moved to Dearborn? Yeah, yes. You moved in 55, huh? Yes. So you were there quite a while. Yeah, oh yes. Yeah. So I think we lived there 19 years. Well, no, it would be 22 years. 22? 33. Yeah. 55. 22 years on Crane. Yeah, and uh, then we moved on Bingham. Why did Daddy move on Bingham? Well, it was to get closer to Ford, uh, and the, you know the why, the colored people, for it. we had right the second neighbor, they had a murder, and that's when, that's when, no, they broke into our garage and stole your bikes. But just before that, remember that girl that you went to me? Oh yes, yeah, but it wasn't, that Gallagher, that Gallagher no, Gillespie. girl, Gillespie, yeah. she lived two blocks from us. Yes. But that's really not the reason why we moved. It's because those colored people, and we called the police when they uh, stole the bike. And after that, they were after the girl. We had Ray and Mike, uh, Ray and uh, Mary Alice then, and they couldn't go out to play. Those colored kids were always right. after them. Yeah. So we thought we better get out of there. Yeah, yeah, and Daddy was working at Ford's for some time. And, and it was prior to. Yeah, long run. Oh yeah, I should, because that was another fun, very... Well, let's see, he retired in 74. How many years did he work in? 30? Oh, no. 35. I think it was 35, wasn't it? I, I haven't got very good memory for years. I, I think it was 35. Wasn't it 35 that he worked? Did he work 35 in I, He started at fourth of the year Michael was born in 34. 34. Okay, yes. then he retired in 74. Yes. So then he worked... No, he retired in 72 because he was two years retired when we moved to Canada. And we moved to Canada in 74. He, 
he was like he was like he was like daddy's protector. <laughs> Big brother. Daddy's Big brother, yes. Yeah, he's older by what, a couple years or um three years. Three years? Yes. Okay. But the two of them came here together. Yes. And they both did they both work uh, get the jobs at the same place? Yeah, no. They worked at the same place to begin with. Was that the American Radiator? Or? No, it was on a construction. Oh. On construction, they worked at, that was their first job. Uh -huh. Then uh, Manosa's dad got into Ford's, before Daddy. Oh, he hired before Daddy? Yes. Did, and did he help him get, did he no, help Daddy get a job? No, 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 Daddy know. got in by himself, and it was during the Depression. And how he got in, there was a priest in Farmington that um, he knew someone at Ford's. So Daddy went to see that priest, and I don't know how he got in, because so many people was going. When the, he went there, people were all sitting all around in the yard, you know, waiting to see that priest. But somewhere or other, Daddy just went in. And he told the priest about it, and the priest gave him a letter. And he took the letter, and he went to Ford's. And you know, that was at that time there where people were saying, uh, Kildare was here. Kilroy. 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 You remember World that? War. Wherever we'd go, we'd see it on the yeah. walls and everywhere. World War I slogan. So, um, when Daddy got to the, wherever they was, they were admitted to Ford's, he showed the man, you know, the letter. And um, the man said, who sent you here? He said, Kildare sent me Kilroy. here. <laughs> Kilroy. Kilroy sent me here. And do you know what? They let Daddy in. <laughs> And he showed them that letter, and he got the job. Did he speak very much English when he applied for the job? Or? Uh, well, not very much, but enough to make his way. But not yeah, very much. He understood, eh? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So it was really uh, luck, the way yeah. he got in, yeah, because it was hard to get work then. Especially during the Depression. Yes. And I know that when he started at work, Michael was very young very young. In fact, I think I was just, he had an appointment to go there when I was recovering from Michael. It was really luck that he got in there. And he worked there ever till he retired. Yeah. Did he start off as a millwright? No, no, no. He was working um, piece work. The production line? Production line. Well, how did he get to be a millwright? Luck again in a way, but Daddy was a very hard worker. And uh, the, one of the boss liked him very much, and that boss was promoted. So he went to see that man when he felt, you know, that he could be a, a millwright. And he told that man he would like to, and the man said, yes, when there's an opening, I will get you. And when he sent for Daddy to be a millwright, Daddy's boss didn't want to leave him go. But Daddy thought, I'm not going to leave this slip through my hand. So he just left his tools there, and he left, and he went. So that's how he got to be a millwright. You bought your house in Canada before Daddy. Oh yes, oh yes. We had our house in Canada. Uh -huh. If I had my book here, that's marked down in my book. But listen, we had our house seven years before we moved there. Yeah. Okay, so you would have been you moved in '74. So you bought it in '68 or '67. Well, you know how we had the farms and then the cottage and then. When did you buy your first farm? Was that the uh, Boy, it's too bad. We, I just w I was reading that last week. Every date is marked on there. And you even had marked in that book the day we bought that trailer. You remember that old trailer we had? A tractor? Oh, the trailer. You mean the one with one? Yes. Park yeah. Well, yeah. you put a date there when Did we... Really? Yes. I was reading what that. What did I say about that trailer? <laughs> um, <laughs> you had a name for it. Spark plug. Today we sold spark plug. And yeah. you put the date. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But you only and had then the two farm, that Frank Christ's farm. Yes. And then, and then the farm. Yeah. And then the cottage. Yeah. Then the cottage. Yeah. And um, during the war, I kept a diary. You know about.
about the price of the food and everything when they put the siren. You know when they put the siren on the um, fire station, we live right next to the fire station. And I was putting down the story when we had to register for our uh, coupons for sugar and meat. Yeah, erasing coupons. Erasing. Yeah. And I was telling, you know, how Mary Alice reacted and Michael reacted to registering for that. And your name never appeared on that. And one day you got hold of the book. I never, I didn't see you do it, but one day I was reading and you said, I'm Rachel. I belong to this family too, even though my name is not here. And then I put under it, that was maybe two or three years after I put under it, but Rachel, remember, you weren't born while this was going on. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't remember writing it, but I remember seeing yeah, it well, there. It, it, what did you do with that book? Is it still I there? I still yeah. have it. And you know, Corrine found it one day, and she was so interested in it, she brought it home. Mm -hmm. Well, I wrote in that book, I have all about Mike's accident, mm -hmm. and all about uh, when your little girl was born and when mm -hmm. she died. Oh, this Holy Week, I said, this has been a rough, oh, Holy Week. Mm -hmm. Yes. You that still have the book, oh though, don't yes, you? I yeah. still yeah. have it. You know, we should Xerox it and give it to the family. Yeah, well, yeah. Corinne brought it home and she read it. She found it very mm -hmm. interesting. And I, I'm sorry that I didn't keep on writing, but now it's too long. See, I yeah. it's too long. I can't... Uh, I, the last thing I have in that book, well, that's when Michael moved to Nebraska and Mike was in the hospital, and I got when he came home on Easter morning, mm -hmm. and then you were at our house, and I remember we went to Mike's house, and uh, I said, Ray, uh, you, I, I said, you come on home with me for a while, because Nettie was staying with you, you know, and it was hard, and you went to Mike, and you said, Mike, I'm going home <laughs> tonight, and Mike said, well, Ray, this is your home. <laughs> Do you remember that, Mike? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> yeah, and you know, I thought, oh. I came back, though, Mike. <laughs> yeah. And, and then you... you we had to give up beds, Mike, so we wouldn't have to sh yes. sleep in ships like yeah. our neighbors. <laughs> well, that's why she came, you know, so Nettie would have a place to sleep. <laughs> and then you went home, you said, I better go and be with Mike. <laughs> Oh, just from two. Sunday to Tuesday. She yeah. went back Tuesday morning. Yeah. Just one day. Yeah. All day Monday. <coughs> Then I think that's about the all. I, and then I was saying how Michael went to Nebraska, and I stopped there. And I was reading it last week, and I thought, boy, it's too bad. You know, I would have had quite a bit to put in that book after. You should go back and fill it in. Well, it's hard fun. now. You know, if I had put when the grandchildren were born and all that, but I stopped. But it was very interesting to read the price. You know, like... Uh, Meat would be maybe 59 cents a pound, you know, and I said, we thought it was very high. <laughs> look at the price today. <laughs> yeah, but if you fill in today's prices in 10 years, these would look good. Yeah, maybe yeah, I should do that. Yeah, oh yeah, these will look good. Yeah. These will look good. In the I should do that, yeah. yeah. But it was interesting. I found it interesting myself reading that. Well, now you can play back this sometime and you'll find it very interesting. <laughs> yeah. I could have given you better dates if I had. Oh, that's okay. You were close. Because oh, we marked the date for everything. Even when they had fire drills, 